What's up everybody? E3 still going strong. We've got out our EA and Microsoft uh, like reviews or whatever for the conferences. Now we're on to Bethesda. And damn they did good too. Yeah, the first time I've actually enjoyed a musical concert during E3. Yeah, they brought out Yeah, that uh, was cool. They brought out the guy that made the Rage 2 song to introduce Rage 2. Yeah. And it looks like a whole hell of a lot of fun. Yeah, because really I, I liked the first Rage. Not a lot of people did, or not a lot of people bought it or something. Rage wasn't that popular, but it, the shooting mechanics and the driving mechanics were really, really solid. And bringing that into a bigger, like, world, I guess, and with more ambition and, you know, and they just, there was a lot of improvement to be made, and it looks like Rage 2 is making every improvement I could have possibly thought. Yeah. My yeah. favorite part about it was how they just poked fun at the Walmart league. I yes. loved that yeah. so much. That that was he was great. just like, and I'd like to thank Walmart for keeping secrets. And yes. <laughs> but yeah, Rage 2, uh, my actual favorite part about Rage 2 was like this weird they show that weird like gravity grenade or yeah. whatever the hell yeah, it was that, that looked awesome it did just like sucked them in and then in and another then, part it just like held them to the ceiling and he was just like oh <laughs> and this <laughs> yep. shot him like and he's got like some kind of berserker mode I'm yeah guessing. yeah something weird and it just it looks like you're gonna be just unstoppable and in the best way. and you get like a force push I'm guessing you get other abilities too. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like a whole hell of a lot of fun. Yeah. Rage 2 has me very excited for it. Then we've got Elder Scrolls Legends. They've got a little like online card game. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Moving on. <laughs> then we've got the DLC for Somerset El for Elder Scrolls Online. And they made Elder Scrolls Online look pretty sweet. I'm, yes, they did. I'm sure it is pretty sweet, but I, I'm not super into MMOs. It's like, I don't know. I don't have time for it kind of thing. Too many games to play. Yeah. But anyway, Somerset looked great. They made it look really, really fun. So I might have to check that out one of these days. The next tease we got was Doom Eternal. And it's Doom. Yeah. It's badass. It's you know yeah. about all about shooting every demon in sight and <laughs> It looks like it was going to bring that in spades because there were a lot of demons and skeletons. Yeah, and, everything. and it's apparently hell on earth. Yeah, this not, time. not hell on yeah, Mars, Mars, which hell on earth. To me, that sounds like a better subtitle, but yeah, that might dude. just be me. Yeah, <laughs> I, there might have already been a hell on earth subtitle, but maybe I don't, I don't oh, know. But Doom Eternal, There's brain it, spider tanks. Yeah, yes, it just it looks fun and it looks awesome. But Doom Eternal's happening. That's going to be great. Then we got the announcement for Quake Champions. Yeah, some cool Quake news. Yeah, yeah. if if you if one you of the play. most popular shooters yeah. like ever. A lot of people love Quake, and this new thing, I, I wasn't sure what it was, whether it was DLC or a new Quake. They didn't really make that clear to me. It might have just been me, but new Quake. No, I wasn't sure either. New Quake stuff is coming. That's yeah. that's the main thing. And then we got a prey update for something called Moon Crash, which looks to be an expansion. Yeah, wow. it's That's like a. Uh, I think Moon Crash is. I don't I know, know if it's DLC or just a free update. Yeah, but I know uh, they said the PvP sounded ridiculous. Yeah, they talked about yeah. that. Uh, you could turn five v one PvP where <laughs> one person one person's like a person, a person oh, and but, five people are the mimics. You could just, that sounds so stressful. Yeah, just turn the it, one that's a person could, is going to be so nervous. They could be anything. They could turn into a chair, they said. And just, okay. like, you know, that's what Prey is. You turn in, the mimics can turn into whatever. But then you just turn into a little, like, spray bottle or a toy car and just sit there on the desk and wait to trap you. Oh, uh, man. That's yeah. going to be ridiculous. I'm sweating just thinking about it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then we got a cool little touch on Wolfenstein 2. They were just like, don't forget, it's coming to Switch this thing and then they were all like well we also have a new wolfenstein game coming out wolfenstein young blood oh, where yes. you're playing as uh bj blaskowitz's twin daughters so it's a co-op game and do, I, I mean do we know the daughter's names 
I am not sure if they Well, say. it better be like Billy and Jody or something that ends up still being <laughs> BJ Blazkowicz. <laughs> That'd be funny. Uh, that that would be great, but yeah, co-op yeah. shooter with the two with BJ's two daughters, killing Nazis, killing yeah. Nazis. It's gonna be a good one. Then they talked about a lot of VR stuff they're covering, like uh, the prey stuff will be in VR, which oh. sounds I don't know if horrifying. I uh, they talked a lot about a uh, some more stuff coming to VR. But if you have VR, definitely go check that out. If not, then you're probably like me and don't give a shit. But uh, <laughs> then, the big one, Fallout 76. They covered this one for a while, yes. and it looks good. It was the yeah, same really trailer does. we got during the Xbox conference, but then we got more, just more about it like we got some vault tech videos about those it which were, were hilarious yeah, <laughs> the announcement that it is like super online online multiplayer like yeah. everybody in I, it is or all the vault people at least i believe are other people you can build your community yeah. anywhere and take it with you it sounds yes. like yeah and that's a big deal the thing that i thought was very cool the way he specified it was he was like, you're going to be playing with dozens of characters. Not hundreds, not thousands. This is a wasteland. But Yes. It, so you're not going to have just like tons and tons of people all over the place killing everything. You're going to have like maybe 20. Oh, and is there going to be a safe mode where people can't kill just kill you like other NPCs? Or are they just going to be able to I don't straight know. up murder you? Yeah, we don't, we don't know I'm yet. I'm confused. Yeah. I, that was not very like that was not clarified but what was clarified is you can round up your friends and all roam around in the wastelands of virginia doing god knows what and launch and a nuke you can yeah. find <laughs> nuke codes and launch a nuke so anywhere that, on the map so that bastard that killed you if you know where he's camping just nuke his ass yeah <laughs> that it's just absolutely crazy to me that you could nuke like anywhere basically. Hell, yes, you can yeah. nuke anything. Like if you you're, So if you wanted to, you could just be like, I'm tired of living and nuke yourself. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and then come back to life and explore the nuclear waste that you just created and get rare shit. Yeah. yeah so that, that's cool. That's fun. Yeah, but Fallout 76 looks awesome. We really have never been into Fallout that much, just yeah. because I'm I I was never a fan of the combat for it. Like I always liked the stories and everything, but I've just never enjoyed playing them. I don't mind watching them be played, but I don't. I, mean, it's, I really don't care for the bat system too much, and they didn't show that off a lot in this trailer. So I don't know if that's going to be in the game or not. I assume it is. It's almost a staple at this point. But yeah, uh, this game looks awesome, and I definitely am going to get in on that beta to play it. Yeah, and one thing that they did that I am pretty excited about is the Skyrim Very Special Edition. Oh my gosh. That yes, was, that, that was, was amazing. That was the most self-aware, funny bullshit they could have pulled. Oh my god, just, that was great. I loved how he presented it too. He was just like, oh, I know what you're all wanting. What's the next thing we're putting Skyrim in? It's yeah. Alexa. <laughs> it actually sounded kind of cool, though. Yeah, kind of like uh, like a D and D type game where Alexa's yeah, the, the dungeon drag, master. You, you have one health left. Take a health potion. Well, you don't have any. Eat all the cheese or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that was so funny. And Seriously, they, though, they were just like. Then it was on his fridge, and yeah, <laughs> yeah. did the ice spell, and all the ice came <laughs> out of his fridge. Oh. It was just it was just hilarious. It, like, it was great. If you they did if you not didn't, have to do that. Yeah, if you didn't see that, go look that. It was up. on an etch a sketch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why I love Bethesda, because they seem pretty self aware. They even talked about they were just like, Yeah, and apparently there are even bugs in our own games. Who knew, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, they seem very nice and kinda down to earth and like they really listen to the fans and it's um i love bethesda for that especially seeing as how i've really only liked one of their games which was skyrim and that is just like a testament to how awesome bethesda is that mm -hmm. i like them that much yeah 
Damn. Yeah. After that, we did get an actual Elder Scrolls game. <laughs> the mobile game Blades. Yeah. Which, it, it looks... It looks pretty cool, especially yeah. for a mobile game. Yeah, it's a mobile game. You can play it in right. landscape or portrait mode, so that's cool. Yeah. You have options. And you have multiple play styles that you can choose from. It looks like they kind of went back to basics in gameplay. Yeah, it looks a lot and like... Uh, and I mean, it'll, it'll, be, and all that. Yeah, like it'll be a good way to waste some time when you're waiting for something. Or Yeah. yeah. Next, we got, we got a big one. Yeah. Their first new IP in over 20 years. Starfield, the long rumored, long leaked, whatever, uh, new Bethesda IP for what they said was the next generation. So yeah, so. I don't know if they meant the next generation for their games or if it was for the next generation of consoles. I would yeah, imagine they, consoles, cause or the next generation of people, and it's just like way, way yeah. in the future. Yeah. So Starfield. Yeah, they were a little vague on that. But. Starfield should be great. I mean, it's in space. And presumably that's gonna be interesting for Bethesda oh, yeah. yeah that's a ground they've never covered before so I am very interested to see more on that but then they dropped the big one the Elder Scrolls 6 and that's gonna be insane and they said I think they said that's after Starfield so that's a long ways off but yeah. it's there and yeah. it's a happening and I am gonna be waiting for a long time and it's gonna <laughs> suck and then finally one day we will get Elder Scrolls 6 and the world will shut down for quite a while because no one will do anything while they're playing Elder Scrolls 6. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's gonna that's happen. That's true. But yeah, uh, Elder Scrolls 6, we got a title. That's literally it. We didn't like, get a title. We just got Elder Scrolls 6. We didn't oh, get Oblivion or Skyrim or Morrowind or anything. Yeah, true. Yeah, we true. Didn't we didn't get the we, full title. Yeah, we, we, got, got, we, we got a placeholder title. Yes. And, and a landscape. Yeah. And... And that's it. Like a castle or something? There was something on the mountain. Maybe a little town, but that... Yeah. It's gonna be Elder Scrolls Six, Tamriel. Isn't that what the world is called? Yeah. Yeah. Like so the continent. Have... I think that's what the continent is called, not the world. Oh. So yeah. The yeah. whole continent. It's fine. Open world. Literally. Yeah. Like you Ugh. can oh. travel the world by boat. No. In real time. <laughs> no, God. Please. <laughs> takes you like four months to get anywhere. I'll never do anything ever again. Please don't do that to me. But yeah, uh, Bethesda had a pretty pretty good conference. Yes. Yeah, they did. They brought a good bit that a lot that I wasn't expecting. Yeah. I didn't expect them to talk about Elder Scrolls Six for a while. I didn't expect a Doom yeah. sequel either. Yeah. Yeah. Or so. a Wolfenstein sequel because <laughs> that game came out in like yeah, late that, 2017. Yeah, that that's quick. But overall. Bethesda had a damn good conference. Pretty yeah. solid. Yeah, I was yeah. very happy with that. I figured it was going to be just entirely about Fallout, so I was very glad they had a lot of other things to talk oh, about. Yeah. And most of it sounds good. Yeah. So we will definitely be catching you later with a lot more E3 stuff. Because, you know, it's still going on and it's madness right now. But that's all we've got for today. So we'll see you with our next E3, E3 video in the next coming days. Hey, thanks for watching. Did you like the video? Why don't you hit that like and subscribe button? It really helps us grow the channel. And don't forget to ring that bell to join our notification squad. Also, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I put the links in the description just to make it easier for you to get to. And we will catch you next time for the next video from the Bro Trio.